What's percolating, YouTube? What's popping, YouTube? What's going on, YouTube? What's happening, YouTube? What's going down, YouTube? It's your boy, Jerome Fit. For you people who are new, welcome. Not your average fitness channel, man. We'll be cooking all kind of good stuff, man. Having good fun, having some good jokes, man. And just all, you know, but still giving y'all good content, fitness related content all at the same time. And hey, man, pretty soon we're gonna start talking about some Marvel and some Game of Thrones gonna be out soon. So, but I digress. Back to the point at hand total body training. Thank you guys for your support with the programs. I can't believe I waited so long to do them in the sense that now that when I talk about these videos, man, we have some reference material to talk about. And so when you guys ask me questions and things like that, it, it just gives more to the trainer. Because first and things first, I am a personal trainer, man. You know what I'm saying? That's my thing. I like training people no matter what I do or how successful I become. I will always train people in some capacity, man. I can make... I hit the lottery for $200 million tomorrow. I'm gonna still probably do training on some capacity. I just do it for free or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I just wouldn't, I just like doing it. But uh, anyway, so what I noticed with the program, you know what I'm saying? I'm just coaching people along and the first four weeks of the program, there's a conditioning phase that's centered around calisthenics and body weight movements. And uh, so I thought to myself, I was like, man, you know what? I, I mean, I do pull-ups and stuff like that, but I haven't really just went after it with a set goal in mind. So I did my own, I'm going to do my own 30-day challenge uh, with calisthenics exercises. So I'm going to back off the weights a little bit because I want to tighten up and everything, but I don't want to shrink. I want to keep my size. But uh, I just feel like with the calisthenics, you get those nice striations, those ribbons, and those cuts, and those bring out those muscle bellies. So, I'm going to rededicate myself to calisthenics. Uh, I used to be able to do like handstands and stuff like that, so maybe I'll try to get back into that. I, I was able to do flag poles for like a split second. So maybe, like I said, I'll try to do stuff like that, muscle ups and stuff like that. Because like I said, for y'all who have been watching me for a while, you already know I'm, um, I do calisthenics already so so my goals are going to be a little different than yours but I, I talked about that in the program I said hey if you're a little more advanced you know what I mean tailor the workout to you specifically because not everybody's on the same level um, so I compensate for that in the program so so my own, on my own personal level I'm going to go back into my pull-ups dips and push-ups and like I said I, hopefully I want to get into uh, well I, not hopefully I am I don't believe in hope we're gonna I'm gonna get my pull-ups and muscle up game back up to par and my dips and I've gained some weight good weight like muscle you know what I'm saying so that's a good way to help get your muscle condition get into condition and get tight well like I said without having to go on an extreme diet and possibly risk losing the gains we know we don't want to take that chance so like I said without further ado this is my uh, pull-up routine and this serves two purposes like I said it's gonna help hold me accountable because if I'm doing these pull-ups and, and a week or two goes by and you know say hey Jerome, what's up with the pull-ups you know I mean it's gonna help me keep accountable because even though I work out and everything sometimes you get I get a little I don't want to say unmotivated but sometimes you get into the monotony of doing things over and over and over and you're not necessarily setting the bar higher for yourself. So this is a way for me to keep myself accountable and also to work along with you guys because I want to be able to practice what I preach. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you my pull-up routine uh, because like I said, people had questions about how to go about doing a pull-up routine when they would hit failure and they weren't able to hit the number of pull-ups and say if they had a set number of pull-ups like 10 and they were able to do eight, what should they do and how the shape should they go about the next couple of sets and uh and still progress forward when being tired so besides telling you why not just show you so without further ado here goes my pull-up routine and i'll come back to you and talk to you a little bit more about it
All right, y'all. That was my, hopefully I did all 50. There should have been five sets of 10 pull-ups. Like I said, I had nobody count for me, plus I was a little fatigued, so I hope I hit all of them. I know somebody gonna point out if I did or didn't. All right, guys, like you saw, man, that was rough, you know? So, but like I said, I have been doing uh, body weight movements for a while, so my uh, pull-up routine will be different than the one I probably I put for you in the program. But like I said, I'm still holding myself accountable. So my goal is that third and fourth set, third, fourth and fifth set to get those numbers up to 10 within like a week or two, you know what I mean? So that's my short term goal. And long term goal is obviously to, be do, to do more reps uh, per set with more weight. So I wanna be able to do, first goal is to be able to knock out sets of 10 consistently, you know what I mean? Five sets of 10 consistently. Sets up to par up to 10 on the weighted calisthenics and so you also got to see see what i saw what i meant about increased weight uh with each set or using weight with calisthenics if you're able to do the pull-ups fairly easily so you kind of saw but i started off with body weight first you know what i mean always do that i always recommend don't just start off with the weighted calisthenics ease on into that you know uh but like i said yeah so that's my short let's see and uh 30 days four weeks what i'm able to do and i definitely am going to look forward to the changes in my physique i already kind of know what's going to happen uh like i said i'm going to back off on the weights i'm still going to lift some uh but the vast majority of my stuff is going to be weighted calisthenics uh and i think and i'm 99 certain what's going to happen is my body's going to tighten up even more and I think my strength is going to improve because I'm going to improve my uh, motion. So I'll be lifting with my natural true motion, but I'll be still strength training. So I think that's what's going to happen. I'm 99% sure that's going to happen because that's usually what happens. And that's one of the reasons why I'm going to go <coughs> back into that. So don't be scared to stop lifting weights for a little bit, guys. Nothing's going to happen. You're not going to lose your gains because you're still strength training and you're just switching it up a little bit. So... And that's how I get those. You get those nice striations and those ribbons and get ripped. So, yeah. So, let's see how this looks, man. And uh, like I said, I'm, I'm with you guys and we're working together. And I just want to lead by example. And uh, like I said, man, we're a team. And uh, shit, man, let's, let's just get it. And uh, thank you guys for your support. And uh, like I said, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and turn on your notifications so you keep getting this dope content, this educational content. And for you returning subscribers, thank you. I appreciate you. And like I said, we're going to keep this thing pushing. And like I said, we're going to keep making these gains. And soon, very soon, we're going to have some definitely, I, can't, I know I keep saying it because I get kind of nervous about doing it, man. Just doing different things for the channel and uh, not necessarily fitness based, man. Just having a good time. But I just wanted you to guys to really take me seriously on this fitness tip first, you know what I'm saying, before I do all the other stuff, you know what I mean, because I really want to be known for that first and foremost. I really want to leave my mark in the fitness community, and I feel like putting out the truth, you know what I'm saying, good programs and good content that'll be around for a while, you know what I mean. I'm looking forward to seeing people years down the road, uh, what people look like, you know what I mean, because I was motivated and inspired by other people, and over time, you know what I mean, I was able to achieve my results. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys do, man. So definitely tag me in your pictures or videos, whatever. Especially training videos. But if you're pushing, pushing the training, man, definitely. Like you push a good pace, man. Let me see it, man. I, I like to see it. Not no one rep sets. You know what I mean? If you're hitting, you know, uh, 10, 12 with some good weight, some good iron, I definitely tag me in that kind of stuff. That's what I like to see people push that pace, man, and really push yourself mentally and physically. So thank you all for your support like my stuff share it and uh peace out and also man i got uh those downloadable programs total body are now available at my website and i'll put the link down below thank you guys for uh your support i really appreciate that you know having confidence in me uh as far as uh you know with the program so that really does mean a lot thank you very much namaste